Tired yet defiant, another day of protest in Hong Kong. Tens of thousands of demonstrators remain gathered outside government headquarters to pressure China into giving the territory full universal suffrage, one person, one vote, plus the ability to choose its own candidates independent of Beijing. Roads are blocked, some businesses and schools are shut, and protesters here say they have no plans to leave. They're calling their movement Occupy Central with love and peace. But in the early hours of Monday morning, there wasn't much love or peace. Riot police on the front line fired tear gas into crowds of demonstrators. In mainland China, police don't put up with scenes like this. But Beijing has promised to respect Hong Kong's way of life, and that makes them the only Chinese citizens with freedom of speech. If we miss this chance to fight for ourselves, I think Hong Kong will have no future. That's why we are here. It's not just here. The protests spread across the harbour to Mong Kok and the shopping district of Causeway Bay. Last month, Beijing granted voters the right to elect their future leader, but said the candidates must be selected by a nominating committee. It has condemned the protests as an unlawful occupation. So far, these protesters have ignored the government's appeal to leave and go home. They say they are preparing for another night of demonstration. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.